Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors, and check this out. This is a thing of beauty. Now I wish this was an actual wooden boat, like you would see on old movies, the guys at the park that live in New York City on boat day, they all get out with their beautiful crafted wooden boats and drive them together out on the pond. But this is all plastic. Take a closer look at this. It really does look wooden, doesn't it? It's just beautiful. And, and this boat, although it's going to be very primitive at the controls, comes in very, very cheap. I think around 20 or $30 new. Now it came in a very generic, bland box, and the numbering and lettering, the, the name is just a bunch of numbers and letters it together. It's a Flytech product, I do know that. Okay, good to know. Um, I just love how it looks. Compared to the traditional plastic boats that you see on our channel, uh, this is just attention to detail, a thing of beauty, and I wish they would make more boats like this, uh, maybe with a little bit more modern technology in board. Uh, and here's why I say that. Now if you take off this battery hatch, which I had off at the beginning of the video, you'll see that we have a very large nickel cadmium battery, right? Uh, maybe that's nickel metal. No, it's nickel metal. Nickel metal hydride. A little better than NICAD, but still not great. It's a 9.6 volt battery. And it'll get the job done, but it'd be nice to see a LiPo upgrade in this. It did come with a USB charge cable that I used to charge overnight in a LiPo safety bag. And then we also have, this is kind of a neat thing, an optional AA battery hatch. So if you're out and you just cannot stand it, you really want to have more fun, you can throw some double A's in there and just keep the fun going. So that's really nice. Now here's the big downside. You notice on the boat we have this little white antenna. This is because we're operating on, I believe, 40 megahertz, not 2.4 gigahertz. So in order to have any range at all, you've got to take that antenna, this is kind of older, older RC technology here, can't believe I'm saying that because I used to, this is all I used to have when I was a kid. There we are, fits in there just fine. And then of course our transmitter is very basic. We have two little controls, forward and back. If you want to turn, you just do opposites or maybe just push one forward. Uh, the, the downside here, I think I got it. No, I didn't. I'm not getting the threads to connect inside. I've tried wiggling this around and all kinds of things. I just cannot get that to connect. So we're gonna have very limited range. Here's who I thought of though when I did this. We've got a friend named Scott Furman. Scott has an old trolling fishing boat uh, that this made me think of and he did a completely revamped build up. I think he's still working on it, but this would be such a fun project for somebody to take the existing parts and technology, gut it and put in some new stuff because this is just a thing of beauty, as I say. So I'm gonna put it in the water. We're gonna see how it drives. It's probably gonna be kind of underwhelming, but uh, I just love how it looks. I just cannot get over that. So hopefully you guys appreciate that too. Just really like how this thing looks when it's all put together. And uh, I just wanna see it on the water, so let's go. If you're interested, by the way, we'll have a link in the description box below. Now I honestly thought this did not work. I tried to give it some power. I didn't see any metal contacts on the bottom. To, to touch the water, but uh, it Hopefully works. there are. Yeah, so as soon as it touched the water, we're good to go. Now we have really bad range issues though, so I'm only gonna keep it really close because of my antenna. This is definitely gonna have to be a project for someone to fix up. When we're close, it does okay, but you hear it kind of cutting out occasionally. Right there. No, that's not you. That's not me. That is just the uh, range issue. So wow. I basically have no antenna, which means you usually only get like 10 feet of range. And this is the megahertz or whatever? Megahertz, yeah, not, 40 megahertz, that's not right. 2.4 gigahertz. That's right. So I'm not gonna do much more with this. This is really just a small treat for you guys to see something that looks so cool. It floats well, it has functioning motors, but wouldn't this just be such a fun upgrade project for somebody? We're gonna do some more boats on the channel, but when I saw this, this is not something that I just wanted to quickly overlook. So there you have it. If you're interested, we'll have it linked in the description box below. Don't expect much out of the box because it is very- You only tested it for 30 seconds. I'm afraid I'm gonna lose 
lose it. Yeah, I'm afraid what I'm gonna just heck? totally lose it. It's a terrible review. It's more just a quick demonstration. Look at it, see? That's my range right there. It's cutting out so bad. Mm. It's just not worth losing. Do you like the way it looks too much? Too much. I really do want to just put that on a shelf somewhere. Look, I'm holding both back. Yeah, great little boat. There you go. Thanks for watching. Great little boat. It cuts out. Great looking. Looking little boat. boat. <laughs> I think I'm just very happy with the way it looks. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. All right. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.